Welcome to Primo RV Center and a first look at an absolutely immaculate 23RB in Jayco's J-Flight series. This is a 2017 model uh, that is like not many used models you'd see on the market. Certainly for its uh, for its age, about four years now, it certainly was babied. Uh, they definitely took care of it. They definitely were washing it regularly, doing the maintenance they should have. And what's nice for the new owners is that it was parked. So in terms of the wear and tear on frame and chassis and brakes, well, these brakes are going to be pretty well brand new. So you're going to have a unit that's going to have a lot of life to it before you have to get into changing some parts and things like that. I'm going to start up front. Uh, this unit came with a power jack here. Uh, the right below the propane tanks we do have a pre-wire for solar which is a really nice one if you're looking to be off the grid at some point you have a huge battery rack here so we definitely have room for up to two batteries we've got two large 30 pound tanks here so if you're looking again to be off the grid that's a great start and this would be a wonderful couples unit uh, you know a first unit for somebody maybe moving up from a smaller older unit wanting a little bit more space maybe having that couch and the dinette which this offers us massive front storage goes right on through and even trickles underneath the bed so when you lift the bed you'd have access to some of that area as well we do have a powered awning here so it's going to come out a full eight feet and nice and easy to bring it in and out as the wind picks up or storms blow in we've got an led light running the full length of the coach as well couple of plug-ins on the outside for additional uh, outside features you may want to plug in and you have two more past the door here so you have a ton of 120 volt capacity here on the back side or on the front side I should say we've got a nice large window here tinted right at the dinette so your dinette looks on to your campsite which a lot of campers absolutely love and then you've got this massive rear storage compartment that could be a great one for a small generator you may want to bring with you or other accessories perhaps to be off the grid or you name it um, so certainly one that would travel quite well with its outside storage and give you a lot of capacity to add features. On the rear we do have a spare tire along with our roof access ladder to easily be able to maintain that roof. We have a rear shower here. We have a black tank flush on the back as well which is a great feature, one that you'll use again and again. We do have pre-hookups for cable and satellite on the back side and then we have our hot water tank, our fridge, most of our appliances on this side and our furnace vent. So uh, that's one that a lot of people like to see on the back side not something you have to worry about if you did want to perhaps put a screen room on. Uh, again, lots of windows on this side. They'll all slide open. They'll have screens. We're going to take you on the inside here. If this is something that is in of interest to you, I do not, I would not want you to delay to reach out to us. Unfortunately, right now, good used products, and this is beyond good, uh, do not last more than days, sometimes the day it goes up. So please reach out if it holds interest for you. Uh, at least we can let you know over the phone whether it's still available. So we've got a great cross flow ventilation here. Two big windows, we've got an emergency exit window. Lots of storage above the bed, but also below that whole bed platform lift up. It's a queen size bed. You've got 120 volt power on either side of the bed, but you also have a 12 volt supply here as well. So you can plug in USB. LED lights are throughout. So nice and bright, you're not throwing off heat. You do have a pre-wire as well here for a television. So you're all set up and then you do have a curtain for privacy here that can come across and a little bit of a half wall with a couch. So our couch will form another bed, but it also gives you a great view here going back towards the, the television. So if you didn't want to watch a movie or pick up some of the channels free over the air with your digital antenna on the roof, you're all set. Great little credenza as you come in here, place to kind of throw your, your shoes potentially on the bottom, place to put your keys and wallet and everything else, phone as you come in the door. We've got a great little kitchen here with lots of storage above. We've got fabric shades on all the windows except the kitchen window for fire reasons. We've got GFI switch here to be able to plug in a coffee maker, a toaster there in the kitchen. Nice big sink, lots of storage and drawers below. Nice big three burner range with our separate oven. We do have a microwave as well, all the stainless steel appliances. And then we've got a Norcold six cubic foot propane electric fridge with separate freezer. We do have a great dinette here with a table that you could take outside. So this isn't stuck to the floor. This is a movable table that you can take right outside. Uh, and then this could be a secondary couch where you could sort of put up your feet, a bit of a chaise lounge. You do have a plug in here, so it could be a, a spot that you work at as well with a laptop or a place where you can plug in the toaster on a day that's not particularly nice outside. Lots of storage here above the dinette. We've got our television and our entertainment there. We've got some speakers. We've got our monitor panel just as we come in the door. Most of our light switches as well as our powered awning switch are all right by the door. And then as we go to the back, we do have our thermostat that will operate our ducted furnace and ducted air, which in a smaller unit like this is a bit of a rarity, which is wonderful. And then we've got the huge bathroom being an RB, a rear bathroom. So nice big shower here with the tub surround. You've got a skylight there as well. But I should note in the main body of the trailer, 
You do actually have a skylight here as well, so lots of natural light, and you can also block that out with the fabric shade. We've got a separate fan here as well, so you can vent out the humidity from the shower. Great vanity here, great little medicine cabinet, and a huge amount of storage back here for all your extra towels, linens. You can also use it as, a, a again, a primary closet if you wish for all the coats and things like that. You could store some boots back here, so you have a lot of options with this massive compartment. So again, a really well taken care of, lightly used, never towed, except to the campground where it stayed for the past four years. 23RB in the 27, it's a 2017 model in Jayco's J Flight Series. We'd welcome down to Primo RV Center to come have a closer look or as I suggested, please give us a call first on this one because I don't know that it's gonna be here much after, much longer than before I take this video off and put it on our website. They, they do go that quickly right now and especially anything that's in great shape and especially a unit that coming in about 5,500 pounds is very towable by a lot of light trucks, uh, bigger SUVs, certainly full-size trucks will have no issues at all. Thanks so much. We look forward to having you here at Primo RV Center and be able to show you some premium used as well as new products.